knife edge chop. The four men in the ring are set. One of the most chaotic contests a superstar can compete in is a fatal four-way. Anything can happen, and the match can be over in an instant. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Elbow. The challenger starting to fall through. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. At this point, it's still anybody's match, Cole. But he's got to be careful not to take too much more punishment here if he wants to be the one walking away with the win. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Short arm chop. Way to hang on. Unleashing it for the second time now. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. His clothesline finds the mark. A bad place to be for the challenger. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. Back in from the apron. Pure power on display right there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The challenger not in a great place. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. I'm really disappointed in what we're seeing from him here tonight. Heading in, I really thought he had a chance of winning this fatal four-way match. Now, I'm not so sure. Incredible EC3 connected with a match-ending move. Game, set, match. This one is over. An impressive strike there. The challenger's taking on some offense. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. Ugh. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Set him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. This is the beginning of the incredible rope connected with a match ending move. He's looking good now, guys. The challenger not looking good right now. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. Nothing good happens outside the ring, which is why I love it when guys go out there. Things are going to heat up now, fellas. Leg Lariat! Oh man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. When I talk about Fatal 4-Way matches, I always think back to the classic battle at Backlash 2007 between Shawn Michaels, John Cena, Randy Orton, and the rated R superstar Edge. The action was so fast and furious from the get-go, it served as a big move coming. Wait for it. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. The Samoan driver. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He put all his weight behind that splash. Byron, earlier you mentioned one of the classic fatal four-way confrontations in sports center. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, oh, we've seen it hurt tonight. There must be serious injuries. That should do it. Big move coming. Wait for it. resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Incredible rope connected with a match-ending move. 
Wow, what a gritty performance. Hansen has been As Tyler mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. What's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. That has got to be it. This match is incredible. EC3 connected with a match ending move. The champ needs to hurry here. Looks like another row has been eliminated. The it's over. It's all over. Let's look back on the action from the last match. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner and still NXT North American Champion, EC3. Nice win here in this fatal four-way match. You know you're for real when you can outlast three of the baddest dudes on the WWE roster. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.